it, we always had a piano in, in our home because my mother, when she lived in Michigan as a young girl, she had entered a contest at the local hardware store and a piano was the prize. And she had won that piano when she was about 14 or 15 years old. Mm-hmm. So by the time I was born, we always had a piano in our home. And for that reason, a few of the neighbors that wanted to get together and have some kind of a church service, we could meet in our house and we always had <laughs> some music because my mom played the piano. So that was where we were meeting at the time Burns family moved to Poplar where they were establishing, his dad was establishing and was coming in as the pastor to build a church there because there was nothing there. And because we were a close by town, 14 miles, his dad agreed to come one night a week to our house in Brockton where there was a group of us that were meeting. And he preached a lot on, uh, at that particular time, he did a study on Revelation, Mm. which is amazing now because I am seeing the very things come to pass (laughs) that he taught would come to pass. And shame on me, I should remember more, maybe I would know more of what to look forward to now or not look forward to really it's not that good what happens in the end time but that was a time when he his dad was coming by himself because sometimes if it was storming he would have to stay overnight and go back the next morning but usually he could come that 14 miles and get home okay Well, then Vern started coming and found out there were some young people there. And my brother and Vern, of course, I had an older brother, not Elmer. And they became good friends. And there were about four other young, young boys, like from 14 to, or some were only 12, 14 to 16. And so Vern continued to come because in Poplar, he had not yet <laughs> met very many young people at all, hardly anyone, because the church was just being started. So he would come every week. Well, that was how we met. But those were exciting times because we hadn't been able to have a pastor for quite some time in that little town. And we became very close. You, those people become like family to you almost. Yeah. Uh, we had no relatives except a few in California and the rest were all in Ohio, which was too far away to go to. Mm. So then in the next year we moved to Poplar and the church had been built and started. And that church was built out of railroad ties standing on end and that made the walls of the church and that gave them a start and around those railroad ties they put boards of course but that was what that little church was (laughs) made of and actually has stood there until about 10 years ago wow and then it was uh, torn down because of course there was another church built uh, before that and that church was just original church was just used as some school rooms and uh, oh dinners or something if, if we had together and we could use that because they built a regular church alongside it uh, that's a great story that is exactly what I think um our family at St. John's would like to hear about. 